come make my special bibingka, vegan bibingka with me. This is my secret recipe, but it won't be secret anymore. There, I'm putting the glutinous flour. Of course, I'm putting the sugar as well, the dry ingredients. Just one cup of sugar, white sugar. And this one is the uh, fresh milk. It's about one cup and two third of fresh milk, I believe. And then I am putting the evap, evaporated milk. the same time i am gonna put condensed milk as well any brand will do okay whatever is available in your, in your store you can use it you can buy it okay but this one i always use it after that you just had to mix keep mixing until it is well combined after that you just put three eggs as well any kinds of egg just i think i use a uh, large egg so i put three of those and after that i'll just mix them together again and yeah you just have to keep on mixing and mixing and mixing until it's well combined this one to make it really 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 smooth you don't have to do it but i do it myself every time i make it so i strain it so make sure all the lumps are not there that is one of the things that I do to make sure that it is well combined. You don't have to do it if you don't like to do it because it's an extra steps. And for this one, the next one, after I strain it, I'm putting a grated uh, cheese. Anything that you want, cheddar cheese or those Filipino cheese that you can buy in Filipino store. But this one is just a regular cheddar cheese. And yeah, just mix them together. And for the butter, this one is a must, okay? If you want a very smooth vegan bibingka, don't ever, ever, ever melt the butter. I grated see as you can see that is a butter okay that's not a cheese that's butter so make sure do not melt but grate it and there you go i think i i put about one fourth of it because i believe that is one cup butter one cup butter so you just put half of it it's up to you and you can also adjust the sweetness so i put one cup sugar remember a while ago and there you go after i mix everything very simple parchment paper just put some butter just to make sure it doesn't stick yeah there you go you just put it there Oh, by the way, I already preheated my oven, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. I'm just going to put it in the oven for about 1 hour and 15 minutes. I normally put it on timer. I don't really have to watch it. 
so i hope you will make it and let me know if you have any question just comment on my video hopefully you will try to make it i can definitely assure you that it is the closest from the uh, royal bibinka from vegan ilocosur and there you have it okay thank you so much for watching